Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you how to make some pot and pot recipes. So my name is Kristen and every Monday I share an instant pot recipe with you. So I get a lot of questions about how do I use pot and pot? Why should I ever cook anything inside of it? So I just wanna show you a few recipes that you could use a pot inside of your Instant Pot. So the first recipe is steamed vegetables. Now, you can put water in your pot and put your vegetables in and cook them. The only bad thing is, is that if your vegetables are sitting in the water, sometimes they get a little soggy. So I like to put them inside a pot. So I'm gonna add about a cup, cup and a half of water to the bottom of the pot. Next, I'm gonna add the pot in the pot. And then I'm just gonna add some vegetables. So we have broccoli, carrots, cauliflower. They all kind of cook around the same time. So I'm just gonna pour that into. Now, when you're steaming vegetables, you still want the moisture to go into your vegetables. So we're not gonna put a lid on, we're not gonna do foil. We're just gonna leave it just as it is here. And we're gonna put the lid on and cook it. So you're gonna turn the lid, make sure it's closed. You're gonna turn the little knob to sealing, not venting. Now with these vegetables, I love steaming vegetables in the Instant Pot because it only cooks for about a minute. So you're gonna push the manual or the pressure cook button, go down whoop, to one minute. You have to wait for a few seconds until it says on. Once it says on, you're good to go and you can walk away. So once the Instant Pot is done, this little L will appear. That means that you did it right. It's starting to count up. So when that's done, you can turn this little knob over to venting. So you're gonna vent all of the pressure out of the Instant Pot. All right, so once all the pressure's out, that little pin goes down and then you can open the lid. Oh, and these vegetables are steamed perfectly. They look so good. Okay, pull that on out. I'm just gonna stab it just so you can see how good it looks. Oh yeah, those are like perfect. They're not too hard, but not too soft. They're not the soggy vegetables. Now I love to cook my vegetables. I add a little bit of garlic salt and a little bit of cheddar cheese and mix it together. And that is my favorite way to eat steamed vegetables. Okay, going on to recipe number two. All right, so the second recipe. Now using a pot and pot, you can do all kinds of delicious things. One of my favorite things to make in it is like dips. So today I'm gonna make a spinach artichoke dip using the pot in the pot and the Instant Pot. So first we're gonna start out with about 10 ounces of frozen spinach. So I'm just gonna pour it right into my bowl. Okay, next we're gonna add the sauces. So this isn't a healthy dip, but it sure tastes amazing. So we're gonna do about a cup of mayonnaise. You can use Miracle Whip if you want, but I like mayonnaise a little bit better. And I'm just kind of eyeballing this. So it's about a cup of mayonnaise and then a cup of some sour cream. Now it doesn't really matter what kind of sour cream, if you have low fat or normal, it just doesn't matter. So just about a cup of that. There we go. And we're just gonna mix this all together. Now I let my spinach sit out for, oh, about, a, I don't know, five minutes or so, just so it's not so frozen, so it will mix a little bit easier. Okay, so next we're gonna add the artichoke hearts. Now this one is a 12 ounce can. You can do anywhere from like 10 to 14 ounce. Now I've, I've drained it so you don't want a ton of liquid in there, but I'm just gonna pour it right in. Now you can chop these up smaller if you want, but I personally love the, the giant chunks of artichoke. All right, so after we have the artichokes, then we're gonna add about a cup of mozzarella cheese. There we go. Okay, so once we get our mozzarella cheese, now we just need a little bit of seasoning in there. So we're gonna add about a half teaspoon of garlic salt. And again, I'm just gonna eyeball it. And then just a pinch of cayenne. If you choose to, you don't have to do this. And then about a fourth teaspoon or a pinch of some pepper. All right, then we're just gonna mix that all together. Okay, once it's all mixed together, then we're gonna put it just right into the new pot. So 
we don't want to put this right in directly into our Instant Pot because we don't want it to be all wet and soggy. So we use that another pot so it'll actually cook but not be soaking wet. All right, so we're just going to lay this flat the best that we can. All right, you guys see that? Ooh, yeah. Okay, so now we're ready to put it in the pot. So we're gonna just grab about a cup of water and just pour it right in. Then we're gonna lower down our pot. So we're gonna use some foil and just put it on top to seal in the artichoke dip. Once your foil's on, you are ready to go. So we're gonna put the lid on. Make sure this little knob is turned to sealing, not venting. On my last, one of my last videos, I forgot to say that and I had about 10 of you comment that I didn't say it. So, sealing, not venting, there you go. Then we're gonna push the manual or pressure cook button, whatever Instant Pot you're using, and we're gonna go to about 10 minutes. Now, after you set the timer, again, you're just gonna let it sit there for a few seconds while you're waiting. It's gonna beep and then it's gonna say on. That means you did it right, so you can just walk away. So when your Instant Pot is done cooking, you're gonna see that little L and it, the timer is going to start going up. So that means you did it right. So we're gonna turn this little knob to venting. It's gonna be a quick release. So you just turn it to the side. Ooh, and if all the steam is already out, we're good. So we can go ahead and open up our lid and it should be all cooked, ready to go. Okay, we're gonna take off our foil very carefully. Oh yeah. Sorry, this is wrong. There we go. Oh, so it's, it's really browned on the outside, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it in the broiler for about a minute or two to just get it nice and bubbly on top. So we're gonna pull it out. Now it's, this handle is gonna be really hot right now gonna get extra water out and then just throw it right into the oven. Okay, the spinach artichoke is done and it smells so good. I just wanna show you guys this. I mean, it is nice and creamy and delicious. Oh my, and cheesy, so good. All right guys, thank you so much for stopping by. We will see you next week.